Hi, welcome to another trading session. Hopefully you're hearing me loud and clear. Click on this cross just here. So uh, on this little box here, if I can just show you, you can use your account, you can get data. But I'm just going to click on this cross just at the top. That's it, just here. I'm gonna, so this is the cross here. Just click on it. So uh, it gets rid of that, brilliant. So to order to get data in, so you see the get data section just up here, that's it, just here, just have a quick, yeah, so this bit here, we're going to click on this drop down list for get data, okay, so let's click on that and we're going to go down to and I'm going to click on more just down here at the bottom, um, excuse me, there we go, click on more. Then this data here, so I'm just going to look down through here and you can see there's a massive list of different types of data. But the one I'm interested in is this one here, the access database. So that's what I'm going to click on. So if I click on that and I go down to here and I'm going to click on connect. So I need to choose a database. So what we can do is we can download a database from our website. So I'm going to go to uh, Chrome. Let's just actually click on Chrome at the bottom here. And then if we navigate to the Computer Tutoring website, so it's www.computertutoring.co.uk. Okay, so computertutoring.co.uk. Okay, so that's what we need to go to. Uh, now if we click on online training just here, and then scroll down, and if you find the video um, under... Excel training videos and under Excel training videos if you scroll down there's many videos for you to choose from there but if you scroll down and you find the option uh, where we have it building data models with power pivots so you can see so if we scroll down there's an option there that says download database exercise file so the download database exercise file so that's what we're going to click on and it's going to download a file. I'm going to download it to. Uh, I'm going to download it to the desktop, and it's called Adventure. So I click on that. It shouldn't take too long to download, depending on the speed of it here. That's the database that we're going to use. Well, so once that's downloaded, I'm just going. So once that's downloaded, it's going to close off my browser. I can now click on Get Data More scroll through the list and the double click on access and double click on my adventure database here so now i'm connecting to the database and all being well i should connect to the various tables so here we have various tables in here so there this is a table or database they have all these tables that are provided from microsoft and i originally used this with power pivot but it can again be used with power bi uh, notice some of the names of the tables as well so if you uh just have a zoom in and have a quick look at some of the names here. So some of the ones that I want you to take particular note of. Uh, the main table, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. There's one called Fact Internet Sales. There we go. Oops, a bit closer there. So Fact Internet Sales. So this database, this table here. So I want you to tick that. So Fact Internet Sales. So that's the one we're going to bring in. Uh, I want you also to do DIM product so you can see the dim product there so if we tick that if we go to dim product category uh, and dim product subcategory so it's those two as well that we want to tick so those ones in there fantastic so we've got dim product product category product set subcategory and fact internet sales there's many other tables and i'll look about at importing more tables in the future but so far so good i'm going to click on the load button just down here so this load button, I just want you to click just here and then that will load up the tables into Power BI. So this is where if it's going to crash or not going to work, it's going to happen. So hopefully it's going to go through. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem because it's on the desktop. But of course, if you're loading from SQL Server from an external database, then things might be a little different. Excellent. So now if I just move myself down here, you can look at the top here. Uh, there we go. So you can see at the top just up here you can see that uh, I've got uh, my various different products and things there that's uh, uh, sorry, my different tables available here and if I want to see more of my data I can click on this data button and then whatever a table I click on over on the right hand side I can see data that pertains to that particular table 
So fact internet sales is the one that we're looking at here. So I'm just going to look at different um, things here. I mean, for instance, uh, with the fact, if I say, for instance, click on the dim product table, a lot of this information is in other languages. So we're going to look at removing different columns so that you can get a nice clean amount of data. So that's something that's important. We'll also be looking at the relationships window and what's important with the relationships window. So there's relationships already formed within this table. So we'll talk about these, the one to many relationships. Um, and the very fact that these are called DIMMs and these are called fact tables. So Microsoft has included this naming protocol just to help you understand how this works. So please stay tuned for more videos and we'll look at how to manipulate Power BI to get what you want out of it. Thanks so much for watching.